You well know the uh, man who was trying to be speaker, Republican Kevin McCarthy, says that he uh, wants to kick you off the Intelligence Committee, the committee that you now chair, uh, because of your handling of the Trump-Russia investigation, and specifically that you repeatedly asserted that there was direct evidence of collusion, direct collusion, which didn't materialize. What's your response to McCarthy? Well, McCarthy apparently doesn't think it's collusion if your campaign manager is giving inside polling data and battle strategy in, in key states to an agent of Russian intelligence while the Russians are helping your campaign. But most Americans would call that collusion. Uh, McCarthy's problem is not with what I've said about Russia. McCarthy's problem is he can't get to 218 without Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar and Matt Gates, uh, And so he will do whatever they ask. And right now they're asking for me to be removed from my committees, and he's willing to do it. He's willing to do anything they ask. And that's the problem. Um, Kevin McCarthy has no ideology. He has no core set of beliefs. It's very hard not only to get to 218 that way, it's even more difficult to keep 218. Uh, that's his problem. So he will misrepresent my record. He'll misrepresent Derek Swalwell or Ilhan Omar, whatever he needs to do to get the votes of the QAnon caucus within his conference. Welcome to Patriot News Network, too. I'm Romeo. So I'd like to start out here with Mr. Swalwell. Let's bring that up for Adam Schiff. So we have an absolutely proven intelligence committee member who is applauded and backed and related to Nancy Pelosi, but by Adam Schiff. And he has no problem with that. The only thing this man that said that was just truthful here is I'm not a big fan of Adam, or excuse me, of McCarthy. McCarthy is basically a rhino and he he's barely better than one of the democrats although i want you to keep in mind adam schiff mr intel chief chair he fell for the russia p tape story he got he got pranked by a couple of djs that they they were working for putin and that they had a tape of Donald Trump peeing on prostitutes in a hotel room, okay? That's the level of thinker you're dealing with when you're dealing with Adam Schiff. So needless to say, I'm very happy to see him go. He has no place in government, much less the Intel Committee. And uh, I'd also like to see Swalwell go too. He, he absolutely has no place on the Intel Committee. Matt and I will continue to bring you the news as it drops. God bless and have a wonderful day.